Am I even on the right route? I don't even think I'm on the right route. Wait, I totally remember now. You're actually supposed to be able to see, like, the outer part of the city. Like, the, the big stone walls around it from the route that you access it from. So I am. I'm on completely the wrong route. Ugh, freaking tentacle. Go away, man. Like, like, seriously. Just... Just... Just go, just, just, just go away. Here we go. This is it. Yeah, this is it. Okay. Okay, so we, we dive here. That's right, I remember this now. I'm glad I got lost, though, because I found that cool secret place. Yeah, this is right. You come around here, and there's this big-ass cave. And that's the way into the city. Um, unless you're flying, which is objectively easier, but I hadn't been here yet, so I couldn't fly to it yet. Because somehow I can't see it from from the air if I haven't been here, and neither can my Pokemon. I uh, guess. Alright. There's the gym. Where's the stinking Pokemon? Why, it's, it's so bright here. It's so stinking bright because of the frickin', the frickin' end of the world happening. Ugh. Where's the Pokemon Center? Pretty sure it's on this side. No, that's the Mart. Is the Pokemon Center on the opposite side? I think it's on the opposite side of the Mart. I don't even remember. But it's so bright, it's giving me a frickin' headache. Come on, dude, walk down the stairs. It's not hard. Uh, run, please. Maybe it's up here. And that's just a house. Ah, oh, there's Steven. That means that there's story there. Which means the Pokemon Center's gotta be on the other side. Alright. God dang it. God dang it. Alright, let's heal. Uh, I don't really have to heal. I only used a couple of power points on the way here. But I, I still probably should, right? Um, how many Ultra Balls do I have? I should probably buy more Ultra Balls. So I'm going to be trying to catch a Groudon. Mm. Uh, let's go buy some Ultra Balls real quick. I have to go back to the other side anyway, right? Because that's where Steven was. I also want to go into some of the buildings and talk to some of the people. Because um, the people of the town are utterly terrified from what I remember. And it's actually kind of interesting. But Buznav, it's showing this town. Sotopolis is on TV. Look right there. There I am, fleeing inside in full color. You yeah, see? Ah, I wonder if we if Lissy's okay. Okay. Right. It seems like this extreme weather is not just affecting Sotopolis, but Lily Cove and Moss Deep too. Have we awoken some terrible power to call the ma'am? I mean, you haven't. Somebody did though. And screw that, man. Um, I would like to buy all of the Ultra Balls. See, how many do I actually want? How many can I even get? A lot. I can get a lot. Let's do 50. That seems a reasonable number. Well, I have five in my bag, so let's put it at 50 total. Got Premier Ball. Not really useful to me. Seems a pretty reasonable number, right? Good round number. Um, let's like go in this house real quick. Oh, I can't. That's right, they lock themselves in. That's right, I remember. It's actually really cool. It's really cool. Like, like it's it's rare in a Pokemon game for, like, the state of the world to change, you know? How do I... Oh, yeah, right up here. Okay. All right, let's save real quick, just because I can. And uh, let's take my ragtag team with only, like, four actually good Pokemon. And let's get this started. Hero. 
And so you did come. I've been waiting for you. What terrible heat. It feels as though the it feels as though the entire world will be burned away. Yeah, I hate the heat, man. Like I like Team Aqua better in general, like aesthetically and stuff. But like also um, their their version of the end of the world is way more in line with the kind of stuff I usually enjoy than deadly blinding heat. I mean, I get overheated sitting still. Um, ah, yes. Now you need to hear what my friend has to say. Hey, hey dude. What's up? My name is Wallace. I'm this town's gym leader. I've also been entrusted with the protection of the Cave of Origin. This drought is being caused by a power emanating from the Cave of Origin. That is the blue orb. I see. Follow me. This sunlight. People in Pokemon need sunlight to live. So why does this sunlight fill us with so much dread? Because it's too much. The blazing sun of Ritsutopolis is growing even more intense. Soon all of Hoenn will be caught under its withering glare. If that were to happen... Oh, hey, look, it's those guys. Ellipses, ellipses, ellipses. Team Magma, Team Aqua. Uh, we've been waiting for you, scamp. Leader Maxi, uh, to that child. I know it must be done. I will entrust this t to you now. It is the fruit of our collaboration with the Devon Corporation, and it represents the height of Hoenn's technological knowledge and skill. Okay. The Magma Suit. Okay. That's the thing I saw in their base. Okay, this music's really cool, but it's actually starting to grate on me now. I wish it would stop. Ah, one more reason to save the world, I guess. We had actually been preparing that in anticipation of making contact with Groudon. But at this point, it doesn't look like there's any hope of that for us. And there's nothing we can do except leave it to you. The suit's also, like, my exact size. All of y'all are too big for it. It's just weird. And yet, even with the Magna suit, it is probable that anyone... Is it? Okay. Okay, hold on, let me read that again. Because I, I got some words mixed up and it completely changed the meaning of the sentence. Even with the magma suit. Is it probable that anyone can pass through the magma and now fiercer than ever due to the forces of nature? And that's true. It is very possible that its energy could be far greater than our calculations show. There's nothing to fear. The blue orb he bears. Its ancient power will protect both boy, both the boy and his Pokemon. You hit the nail on the head. Those old folks at Mount Pyre did say something about that, Arg. That the Red Orb would unleash Groudon's primal powers and trigger a primal reversion. While the Blue Orb had the power to reverse that and calm the beast, Arg. Uh, yes, the energy overflowing from the Cave of Origin just now. It is the same energy that gives Groudon its power. So, like, Groudon's metabolism? with the blue orb which contains the power to suppress that it should be possible to calm the rage of this flood of magma not really how science works but hey I'll give it a try I mean if I don't do something we're all gonna die anyway because none of you adults want to even give it a shot of course the blue orb's power alone will not lead you to where Groudon waits you will not reach Hoenn's core that way what? Use that suit that you were just given. With that, it will finally become possible to stand up against the forces of nature. I'm going to the... What, what core? What are you guys talking about? <sighs> Whatever, it doesn't matter. Hero, I think that you had... To think that you had the blue orb. You'll be okay. So wait, you didn't even know I'd make it out of this alive? 
I don't like this guy anymore. You and your Pokemon can handle it, whatever happens. I believe that. Thanks! They're all just justifying where, why they're not going in there and they're leaving it up to me instead, aren't they? And no man or woman from Satopolis is permitted to enter the cave ward. That's convenient. Uh, but you must go, together with your blue orb. I mean, my Whalmer is pretty cool. I, oh, you meant oh, you meant the other one. Okay. Now you must go, regardless of what waits for you inside that cave. Now uh, we'll also get our people together up top here to help any folks and Pokemon in trouble. Uh, my little uh, scamp of a savior. Looks like we're making you bear all the burden on uh, your little shoulders alone. I'm sorry for that. Then do something about it. At least he's gonna be helping. That's fine. That's I guess. Uh, but I know uh, you're gonna see it through. Child, you. No, I have no right to call you child. Fellow trainer, I have caused great harm. For that, I apologize most sincerely. Yeah, and there's no prisons in this world, I guess, so that's really the best I can hope for. Uh, but now we find ourselves in an impasse, and you and your Pokemon are all that humanity has to count on in its stand against ground. That's a terrifying thought. Because I've only got five Pokemon that are actually, they're actually a good level right now. Uh, the fate of our world, the world upon which all humanity thrives. Yeah, that's how, that's the definition of our world. Uh, the fate of our world rests in your hands. Great. This is literally just because they made the suit too small, isn't it? Hey, May's about my size. She could go. Nah, no, my Pokemon are better than hers. Hero, I heard on the news that things were going haywire around Satopolis, and then I saw you on BuzzNav, Hero. I couldn't sit there and do nothing when I knew you were here in the thick of it, so I came flying. You've been here before? You can fly here? Can I borrow whichever Pokemon knows how to do that? Well, huh? Isn't that Team Magma and Team Aqua? Okay, can I just say that I am, like, shocked and confused on so many levels right now? That's because as, as nice as you are, May, yeah, you're, you're real bad at paying attention. <laughs> uh, this is probably something way bigger than I can imagine, isn't it? So I'm not even going to ask right now. I'm going to try to find what I can do to help. And then I'm going to do my best with that. And I'm going to keep on hoping and believing that you'll, you'll be okay out there, hero. Because she can, like, confess her feelings. Oh, yeah, I guess she kind of did. Because you're the best friend I have. Yeah. You're a pretty good friend, too, May. I, I wouldn't want her going in there anyway. It's pretty dangerous. All right, let's just get this over with. Ooh, ominous. Ah, finally different music. Thank God. It's a cool place. Oh, look, another hole I have to jump down. Dear God. I really hate this. Why, why am I even doing this? This whole being a trainer thing is starting to... It, it's starting to sound like a worse idea. Stinking Golbat, go away! Do I have any repels? I really shouldn't use a repel. I should be battling wild Pokemon to get my other guys leveled up. You know, in case I survive this and get to go on to fight the Elite Four or the final gym leader or something. That sounded great. What was over this way? Because that other way sounds dangerous. Oh, hey, it's another another hole. Let's go through the hole. Okay. God dang it. Maybe if I kill enough of these stupid things, they'll stop appearing. Die. Freaking Christ. This is literally the only way I can go. Um... And even at the most dramatic moments, frickin' Golbats keep appearing. Dear God. Why did I not buy reply? Why did I not buy repels when I was at the frickin' shop? Go away. Hey, Digger leveled up. It'll evolve. Eventually. Oh, it evolves now. I thought it evolved at level 40. Oh, hmm. Not gonna not let it evolve because while I like Trap Inch a lot 
Vibrava is a much better Pokemon. And also a lot cuter, I think. Very, very cute Bug Dragon. Wants to learn Dragon Breath. Not really a Bug Dragon. He's a, he's a ground dragon, but he looks like a bug. You get what I mean. Um, let's see. Instead of... Crunch doesn't really seem like a Vibrava attack, because he doesn't have a visible mouth. So I'm going to get rid of Crunch for Dragon Breath. My uh, method for choosing moves is ingenious, and all of you should follow my example in every Pokemon playthrough that you ever play through going forward. How to ruin everybody else's Pokemon runs by AJ. Uh, oh, that's actually kind of interesting. It's actually kind of a good Pokemon. It's also a Steel-type, which is a very bad, very, very bad match for me. Though I get to intimidate it. I don't really see how a Gardevoir could intimidate him all while. Um, I don't even really have anything on Gardevoir that can hurt it, really. And Digger really wouldn't be good against it either. Just Blaze kick it to death, I guess, because I still want the experience. I'm very glad that Digger evolved, though. That's going to make him much more viable. Because he now can resist a lot of stuff that he couldn't resist before. Boom. He's also extremely weak against ice now, though. Which is also kind of bad. But we, we can deal with that later. Hey, Sweetie leveled. Good. Is Monster going to level now? Really want him to level more, too. Uh, this place is going to collapse and I'm going to die before I even get there. So stupid. All of them are so stupid. Why are the adults in this world so stupid? Ugh. Oh good, it's getting hotter somehow. Freaking crap. Uh. Wow, I traced inner focus. I'm so excited. Go away. It's like a Zubat cave, but instead of Zubats, it's far more threatening Golbats. It's so dumb. Is the ceiling still up there? Yep. Alright, I'm probably not gonna die yet. Emphasis on yet. Um, this looks conspicuous. Is there something over here somewhere? No? This is just a... I mean, there might be. There might be something like in the middle of the floor or something that I can only see with the dowsing machine. But it's not obvious if, if there is. That's getting worse. I don't like it. I don't like this either. Mm, we've got to be almost there, right? I really hope we are. Because I'm, I'm, I seriously am worried about this place just collapsing. I'd like... Oh, hey, look. A freaking lava chamber. Great. That's great. That looks... That looks healthy. God... Oh, man. I don't like this. This is bad. I want it to not be this. That definitely looks like it's going to protect me from the lava. Where was I keeping that? Was I keeping that in the same hammer space that I keep my whaler pail? I.e. up my butt? Okay. Groudon doesn't seem to like that. Oh, look, there it is. Good. Great. I can hear a voice from within the magma suit. Do you read me? It, it, it is I, the great Maxi. A device built into that suit you have donned allows me to talk to you. Now we have received the readings from your suit. They suggest that Groudon has appeared. Yeah, I noticed that. Thanks for telling me. Is, it, is my supposition correct? Does it stand before you now? Yeah? You must listen. Do not waste even a single second. Leap upon Groudon's mighty back. Then let it... Thanks, that's helpful. Alright, fine. Apparently I Mario jumped onto his back. Seems like a smart idea. 
Oh, no, wait. Not smart. The other thing. The opposite of that. What's that called? Oh, yeah, right. Stupidity. This is very cool, though. Like, I'm giving... I'm giving the... Heroes given this whole situation a lot of shit. But this looks amazing. Because, again, I played through Alpha Sapphire, not this. This looks great. I like... I like the aesthetic of Alpha Sapphire better overall, but this is just amazing. And now somehow I'm over here. And not dying with the suit off. Okay. Um, I'm going to save again, because I'm a paranoid bitch. And, um... I'm not going to send out my shift tree in this area. I also probably should have brought Slacker, because he can yawn. Because I just realized I have no means by which to inflict a status condition on this thing, and it's a legendary Pokemon. I don't know how I'm going to catch it. This might take a long freaking time, and I really hope it doesn't, because that sounds boring to me. But I'm going to catch it anyway, even if I have to reset. Even though that sounds just awful. It is mega evolving, and Hero is, is pants-crappingly scared right now. But also kind of impressed, because this is really cool. Good. Good, it's Lava Groudon now. That makes, that makes me feel much better about this situation. And there's my cover. Did he get a little bigger, too? Yeah. Let's kick its ass. I got desolate land. That, it really seems like two instances of... Two instances of that ability should be going at the same time right now. Um, let's see how much... Shit, let's see how much a Draining Kiss does, I guess. Because I don't want to knock it out, obviously. Yeah, no, that was bad. What? What is that? What was that? I don't think I've ever seen that move before. Okay. Um, can I use Surf? Am I allowed to do that? Oh, I forgot to change it. God damn it. Forgot to put Roost back on him. Well, shit. Okay, so I, I, that's a ground move. That's got to be his signature move, right? Which I didn't think Groudon had a signature move. They must... Did they add one to Kyogre, too? I don't even remember. They must have added them for this game. These games. The two versions of this game. Stockpile three times. He's just using ground moves, which don't affect me at all. I'm totally okay with that. I'm, I'm real scared to use Surf, though, because I don't want to knock him out. But he's, like, two levels higher than me, and there's Sun going, so I don't think it will. Let's find out. <clears throat> Yeah, it, it evaporated in harsh sunlight anyway. Okay. I could use... Dude, you suck. Stop, start using good moves. feel bad for you. Oh, okay. That's going to make catching it real easy. Great. <clears throat> I've got secret power, too. I guess I could theoretically use secret power against it. Even though I get the sense that's not going to do anything at all. Let's find out. Let's see how exactly nothing this does. It was a fiery secret power. That's kind of cool. Maybe it'll burn him. I can't burn him anyway. He's asleep, isn't he? Yeah. All right. While he's asleep, still, I'm just gonna throw a freaking ultra ball at him right now and see what happens. I'm losing my mind a little bit though. This is bad. I'm I'm really not prepared for this fight at all. <laughs> Come on. God damn it. Okay, now he wakes up, 
attacks with another useless move. Um, secret power again? Maybe? Maybe? Doing freaking nothing, man. Uh, yeah, this is probably when I'm going to start cutting through the battle a little bit when actual exciting things happen. We'll see. We'll see what I end up doing. Uh, come on. Make a miracle. Let's go. Okay. That's great. Oh, and I'm burned. Wonderful. Can I can I heal that? I have a full restore. And that's literally it. Okay. That one heals burn too. Let's use this first. Cause fuck burn. Okay. But also burn him, please. Oh good, great. Stop. If I can damage him more though, that'll get weaker. Now I'm gonna go in here. Cause I'm getting real close to being dead. And heal. Ah, you've got to be freaking kidding. This is stupid. This is real stupid. I hate it a lot. Um. He's asleep. Maybe this will work. It's not going to work. This is, this is dumb. Why why would they give him rest? That's so so cheap. Ugh. Wait. Holy shit. That's like the third one I threw when he was at almost he was almost at at, at at full health. What? What the hell happened? I'm not no, I don't want to learn tailwind. That's that's a Again, it's one of those moves that's good and competitive, but I could not care less for the game. Wow. Wow. I guess the game knew that giving rest to the ridiculously hard-to-catch legendary was was cheap. Dear God, that was... I did not expect that to happen. I might cut just a tiny bit of that out, but otherwise, you guys saw all of that in real time. That was crazy. How, that's that was such a lucky throw. Whew. Sorry, I'm I'm having to come down from this a little bit. <laughs> anyway, Groudon is said to be the personification of the land itself. Legends tell of its many clashes against Kyogre, as each sought to gain the power of nature. Neat. And uh, I am actually going to give him a nickname, Pluto. God of the Underworld. That was an abrupt stop to that music. Oh, hey, look. The cavern is collapsing. Great. Yeah, run. Run, hero. Run. Oh, the whole town's going to collapse, isn't it? What is that? Is that like a bubble of goo? Or is that the power of nature? Still have no idea what the hell's going on here. This is all very, very strange. But it looks like the world's not dying anymore, so that's that's probably good, right? Did I do good? Did I fix it? I mean, I should not have had to fix this, but did I? Hey, it's home. That place that I've been for like a total of ten minutes that I. I'm now supposed to think of his home. It's pretty, though. Oh, hey, it's Wally. At the... Was it the Pokemon Center? Or the Pokemon League? That's cool. Good for him. The Magmas still look angry. Look at that. They couldn't even animate him with a different facial expression. Yeah, that one's still training Wilmer, so that's cute. 
Maybe she'll get a job as animal trainer for the movie Free Wilmer. That's, that's a Free Willy reference, by the way, in case you didn't get it. Hey, it's Courtney! Hey, I knew her, know her. She's important. Hey guys, I didn't die! Hero! It's really over, isn't it? Hero, we owe you great thanks. Look above you. The sky over Cetopolis has returned to normal. Uh, somehow it's so warm. It's the energy uh, that had been amassed deep within the Cave of Origins, now flowing out to pour over the greater world. Uh, it's as uncertain. It's as if the uncertainty and fear for moments ago never even existed. And my heart feels like it's been softly set at ease. Ellipses, ellipses, ellipses are. The sea or the land. Pokemon or humanity. All this time we've just been trying to grab onto happiness for one of them. Even if it meant destroying the other. Yeah, maybe you should have been trying to find a way to help everybody, dumbasses. Look at how things have turned out. Now the world's and it got its natural balance back. We've got to rethink this thing from the very start. We've got to redo everything we've done from scratch and get it right this time. What do you say, Maxie? Will you marry me? Of course I will, Archie. That's what this is all about from the beginning, right? I suppose you may be right. However, personally, in my case, some wrongs cannot be atoned for, no matter how you try to write. Yeah, they can. You gotta at least try, man. And I have committed wrongs so great as to bring the whole world to its knees. It may be that I... It may be too much to assume that I should deserve the chance to start anything over. Yeah, that's dumb. Leader, without a doubt you have committed an offense that can never be forgiven. I mean, it can. It just probably won't be, right? Now, you have wronged not only Team Magma, but all living things on this planet. Whether great or small. However, that is precisely why you must now set things right. You must continue to atone for your sins that you have committed. Even at the risk of your own life. Yeah, start risking your life instead of mine. That'd be great. To set, the, to set right the wrongs you've done without running away in fear. Isn't that how an adult accepts responsibility? Well, adults have a sense of responsibility in the Pokemon world? That's, that's gotta be... That's that's wrong. That's, that's, that's a lie, right? I'm I'm flabbergasted. I didn't even think that, I didn't think that was a thing. Ellipses, ellipses, ellipses. Uh, should you find the resolve to do so inside yourself, then I, Team Magma Admin Tabitha, will declare my name again, and then serve at your side as counsel forever. T Tabitha, thank you. Uh, Ar uh, Archie's running away because Tabitha's stealing his man. You yeah, know. Someday we adults are going to have to hand this world off to this little scamp and the rest of his gener- You already did. You literally did that. But what kind of world are, are we adults going to make? What kind of world do we want to pass on to these kids? A dying one, apparently. If we haven't even figured that out ourselves, we're never going to get anywhere. So are we going to make a world where everyone can coexist together, Arg? I hope so. This is getting meta now. Or after- or, after all, is it going to be a world uh, that we claim by force? That, that was phrase weird. One that we can fight and squabble over. I don't know. But I think we can at least start by giving it some time and thinking it over. Our, and all of us can do that. Whether we're Team Aqua or Team Magma or whatever. Okay. It's a long cutscene. Episode's going to be long. Uh, you were able to use that blue orb to great effect. So I imagine you will be able to handle this. Have Groudon hold it, and you should be able to control its primal re reversion for at least a short period, such as during- that sounds like a terrible idea. Okay. And that's it for me. Later, scamp. Farewell. Okay. Hope to never see you again. Bye! Ellipses, ellipses, ellipses. Team Magma and Team Aqua are made of people with completely opposing ideals and goals. Yeah, that that seems that tends to be how the goals of people with differing ideals are. But perhaps even they can learn to meet halfway, one small concession at a time. I know it's too much to expect that everything will change at once, but 
I hope this crisis might at least help them make the first vital step forward. This is getting real fuck, real freaking meta now. Uh, it's making me sad about the real world. Just gonna just gonna ignore it and move on. I imagine that many changes are happening now all across Hoenn. I hope you will be able to travel this world and see its richness with your own eyes. And revel in its newness in your own heart. That's weird. Again, a weird way of phrasing that. But for the present, you may first wish to challenge this city's Pokemon gym. There, you'll find the very same Wallace who helped us so much. Wait, he didn't help that much, man. I did most of it. He's strong. But the way you are now, you should be capable of battling him on equal footing. I'd hope so. I just fought Groudon, man. Nah, I didn't actually fight him. I threw a ball at him a few times, and he took pity on me. And when you travel the world, you should try to use this. This flute is one of my favorite items. Okay. The Eon Flute, which is very cool. I like this item a lot. This lets you soar around instead of just flying. This Eon Flute is proof of the bond between you and your Latios. No matter how, how far you may be from one another, play that flute and Latios will surely fr fly straight to you. Which is... I like this aspect of Latios being like your friend. I just don't like you having to add him to your party back then. Go go watch that episode if you don't know what I'm talking about. That was episode 16, I think. Uh, then it can take you to the sky, soaring above the land with your with you astride its back. Uh, yes, just like when we first encountered Latios and Latios at Southern Island. That's pretty. People, Pokemon, nature itself. Our survival in this world depends on all of us living together in harmony. I feel I have just begun to understand that. How? How is it possible to, that you've just begun to understand that? And I'm wondering how the world will continue to change from this point on. It fills me with an inexplicable excitement. Hero, you and your Pokemon live and grow in this world. In this... As you and your Pokemon live and grow in this change, dear God, my reading comprehension has been severely nerfed by all that the heat in that lava chamber. I wonder what effect it will have on you. Uh, what will you think about? What ideals will you believe in? The good ones. Because I'm always correct and you're always wrong. If we do get the chance to meet again, I hope you will be able to show me and my team the answers you've found. By beating you, I imagine. That's what I gotta do. Until then... And he just pieces out. Phew. Finally, it's just the two of us again. I've got to say, thanks for everything you've done for our region, hero. And I just stand there, smiling like a dork. You know, I thought we were supposed to have set out from Little Root together, but... But you, hero, it seems like you just keep getting further and further ahead and then catch more Pokemon, man. I even started to feel like you'd gone somewhere that I can't even reach. It's pretty lonely, you know? And it's also lonely being at the top. Just feel sorry for me. Not, uh, what would you think if I really said something? You did say something like that. You're just now pretending like you didn't. Hee <laughs> hee. Anyway, you did something really amazing today, so try to take it easy for a while. See you later. I like her, she's cute. This is very cool. This end cut, I mean, it's not even the end. It's not even the end of the freaking game. It feels like it though, right? This end of the story, I guess, is the right, the best way of putting it, right? Is very cool. What's down here? Just this place, right? Can I, like, not get to the tree? That's disappointing. Alright, well... This is where the po Oh, there's the thing here. Sable and I... Okay. So I thought I could get to the Pokemon Center this way. Apparently I can't. Can I... Nope, there's nothing that way either. We've got to go back around. All right, cool. That's fun. Oh, it's just an old guy. I'm like, who's standing there? Was there not someone standing there? Was there someone standing there? Second ago, because I didn't notice. Anyway, uh, around the the poke. This town is. Oh wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. I can fly there. I don't have to actually know my way around. Uh, it's gonna be a long episode, but I'm 
I am putting all of this in one episode, just just because I can, right? And now I'm thinking about it, I should probably go back in here and put Roost back on my frickin' Pelipper. <sighs> Nobody's ever accused me of being smart. Alright, that's gonna be about it for this episode, guys. I had a lot of fun with that whole thing that just happened. I really hope you guys did too. Either way though, this has been AJ22 and I'll talk to you guys later.